back to my channel. This is Naja here, the head bacon in charge, the bacon bit squad. Thank you guys so much for sprinkling those bacon bits in the comment section each and every week that I do a video. I really appreciate you guys. If you did not know, I'm on a journey to achieve and get my first $100,000 invested and so i'm well on my way so you guys are following me along on this journey which takes place after our mortgage is paid off and this is like a huge goal for me to achieve i'm tracking my progress each and every month in order to keep myself accountable and make sure that i'm on track with my goals and, and the things that i have as far as moving my money into different investment this is the july investing recap i had down that i wanted to contribute six hundred dollars to my roth ira i wanted to invest 250 dollars into robin hood and then also i wanted to earn an extra 150 dollars so total i contributed one thousand one hundred ninety three dollars and thirty three cents seven hundred and fifty dollars of that was to my vanguard account i am trying to switch gears and max out my roth ira so that is why I did not invest as much into my Robinhood account. The teacher retirement system automatically comes out. That was $328.33. I invested $105 in Robinhood. Also, I earned an extra $198 for the month in extra income. So I definitely met that goal of earning an extra $150 for Vanguard. And I guess I didn't add these up. Let's see. So we're gonna go ahead and add them up now. So for Vanguard Agree, I earned $1.51. And then for Stag, I earned a dollar ninety one and then for O Realty I earned two dollars and forty cents and then the money market account was fourteen cents. So one fifty one plus one ninety one plus two forty plus fourteen is Five dollars and ninety-six cents for Vanguard. Now for Robinhood, I earned four cents for Coca-Cola, Nike nineteen cents, Jeppy five cents, Altria eight cents, uh, Main Street six cents, Old Realty two cents, and McCormick four cents. So total, that was. Let's just add all of this up. That was 48 cents. Next we have Fidelity. I deposited $50 into this account back in June. And so what Fidelity said was that they were going to go ahead and give me $100 added to that account uh, for opening it and adding $50 to it within like 25 days. And so they did. And so for the month of July, they added $100 to the account. So it's really about $150.57. That's total amount that's in the account. But they actually added in $100. And then the 57 cents was the interest that I earned for that. Rise total, I'm just gonna go ahead and cross that out. And actually, I'm not gonna add this in because it's not dividends, and I'm actually a, like a little bit of a loss, like two dollars here. But I am gonna add this in. So total, we're gonna do 596, 48 plus 157, 107, 01, 10701. That is how I did for the month of July as far as dividends. If you happen to enjoy this video and you like follow along to see how I'm doing as far as my investments, subscribe to the channel and follow me on this journey as I'm reaching towards my goal of getting $100,000 invested. They say the first $100,000 is the hardest. And once after that, it just kind of like a snowball effect. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. All right, until the next video, bye.